Welcome Cancer to your January 2020 reading and a happy new year to you. So we've got the same layout um, as before. We have uh, the cards taking us through the month and the second deck as the overlay and that gives us a bit more detail for each of the weeks. Now the difference here is that I'm including one more card and I don't know if any of you have seen your 2020 yearly reading but this has been taken from the month of January and for you Cancer you had the Ten of Swords so I want to include that in this one as well. So I just put that there. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles with the Six of Rods, the Ace of Cups with the Sun, the Eight of Swords and um, two below, I'm just trying to fit them on there, the nine of uh, rods with the two of pentacles, and finally the six of cups with the high priestess. I think I want to start here actually, and this is the ten of swords. Now you had this in the yearly, um, it means that something, a cycle, um, is coming to an end, a difficult cycle, a painful cycle, a stressful cycle, Cancer. You will be glad to see the end of this, most definitely. Um, yeah, and it's, you know, it's an irrevocable ending. And this is what I love about this card, because it means that you will never go through that sort of thing again. Well, certainly not in that form. And it also represents the sun is now slowly starting to rise on the horizon and as the light comes up it pushes away all of the darkness from that cycle all of the stress the difficulty the worry that you've had and so i you know some people don't like that but i love that for that it's a it's a total you know irrevocable ending yeah it's done it's over cancer never to be seen again now let's have a look at these so the knight of pentacles this is lovely paired with the six of rods because this is all about well change that's happening you're you're in this process of change we know um, so many people are, aren't they? And this is saying you are absolutely right on the money, Cancer. You, What you're doing is spot on. You're getting some results. You're seeing some evidence. But yeah, it's taken a bit of time. But hey, you know, sometimes that happens, doesn't it? This is also talking about you are trying to set something up for the future, whether it's a, a work related thing or a family related thing or a, you know how you live or your habits or lifestyle you're trying to set up a really good foundation for yourself for the future and this is what the knight of pentacles says um there are no shortcuts with the knight of pentacles so this wouldn't have been an overnight success you would have had to work for this and i think that's where some of this comes in doesn't it really but my word this is good this is very very good ultimately you're going to be successful with this cancer all right because the six of rods is victory success and victory it's like yes 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 so that's extremely positive um there could also be around this time the beginning of january someone offering you something um yes it could be a job opportunity it could but it could be like an offer on a house um, it will have ultimately a practical application in your life and uh yeah, so it's not just an, an idea, or it could be an idea that then, you know, turns into something very practical and very real. But someone could be offering you something right at the beginning here. This is lovely. Do you know, Cancer, I cannot stop the Ace of Cups coming up in January. I have picked this so many times for so many readings. Um, it's about new starts, new beginnings, but it's to do with your emotions, it's to do with your feelings. So it's like an emotional rebirth. And I feel that for 
this is all tied in. This is all tied in here, this difficult ending here or something that you were done with. You know, you're just like, yeah, I'm really done with that now. Um, this is saying, well, here you are. Here's a new beginning. Here's a new start. Here's a new door to open cancer. And it will make you feel amazing. Um, you know, your cup overrunneth with happiness and joy and celebration and peace and love and all of that. Could be an offer of love as well here, especially with these two. It's paired with the Sun card and this is good luck and good fortune, it's hope, it's optimism, it's success. So I, I feel that you're going to love the beginning of January here, the beginning of the new year. Lots of upbeat feelings, you thinking, yes, you know, I'm letting go of this, I'm embracing the new. So yeah, just a new chapter, wonderful way to start can relate also to the things in the cards. So we've got the children and babies. Um, you've, you've also got the animals there with the horse and the sun, so travel. So you might be traveling. There could be some links to family here as well. Offer of love. <laughs> Maybe discussions around babies and children as well. But you're going to feel amazing, wonderful. Now... This is interesting. You've got the Eight of Swords, which typically means that there is something or an aspect of your life where you feel a little bit trapped still. Even though something is, and you can sense that something is concluding and wrapping up and finalizing, and you're getting a really good sense of this new thing coming into your life. There's something that you're still feeling a bit trapped with. Um, I wanted to understand it and this is why I picked two of these. Now, the nine of rods is saying to me that you need to persevere. Um, or even though we've got a 10 here, this is telling me there's still some like remnants or residues, if you like, cancer, where you've got to tidy them up, you've got to wrap them up, you've got to sort them out. So maybe for some of you, Yes, you know you're finishing something, but you can't totally and completely finish it during January. And I think that's what's making some of you feel a bit trapped. You would really do want to end it and finish it and move on and start this new chapter. But there are some final things to just um, sort out. And this is a card that says, look, hold firm, it is coming, don't give up, don't be swayed, don't think it's not going to come cancer, because it is, it definitely is. Um, and the other thing, and this is why I pulled an, an, another one, is that when we're closing one chapter off and starting anew and starting afresh, it can mean that there's lots on our plate, we're busy, and this is what the Two of Pentacles um, is signifying. So I get the sense that this feeling of being trapped is because you've still got quite a bit of to do to wrap this up and, and move away from it and conclude it. And there's, you know, you still can't jump into this totally and completely and fully just yet. Um, and it's making you just feel a bit like, oh, I really want to let go of this and I really want to jump with both feet into this. But there's some just some final things to do. They are giving me, um, my angels and guides, that this is a bit of an illusion, really, because everything feels like it's within perfect timing. So remember that. Remember that. And then you get a lovely chance right at the end of January to reconnect. Now, this might be reconnect back to yourself if you've had a little bit of a wobble or a moment there, Cancer. Or it could be reconnect and rekindle with someone else, someone from the past, past life, soul connections, you know. And it will be joyful and happy and wonderful and you will get a lot from it. So you'll really enjoy that. That's really lovely. Couldn't talk about um, social gatherings and meetings and events, you know, but happy ones, really happy ones. 
Now it's paired with the high priestess, which is your signal to come back to yourself. So the you know, if you've had a wobble here, it's saying, come on, come on, Cancer, come back to yourself, um, spend some time with just you to get yourself back on track. You know, what's important to you? Who are you? Why are you here? All of that good stuff. This is why I think for most of you, this is to do with you coming back to who you are, because you get a strong sense of, yes, this is ending now. And for many of you, this can't start soon enough. You know, it's, it's just like you're so eager to, to jump into this. And there's nothing wrong with that. But within that, you feel the tension. You feel yourself, you're not there totally yet. So this is where this can come in. So it's about getting back to yourself here, Cancer. Now, a couple of things I just want to bring in. First of all, to trust trust that this emotional rebirth and this new start is happening and this is um, concluding and wrapping up and also know that it's happening in perfect time um, and it is the time now it is the time to shift and move so you've got to believe that you've got to trust in that cancer um, but because it's such a big cycle, it just doesn't happen overnight. So, but don't think it's not happening. It really, really is. You just got to keep trusting it and believing it. All right. I hope it's a great month. Thank you so much for watching.